ragazzi sono piaciuto I've talked a lot about the differences between English and Spanish, but today I want to talk about the times where they like. Where they f. No! What? Oh, sorry, where the words make love? The times where Spanish is like, hey, English word, and you're looking hot. <laughs> Get your cute word over here. <laughs> See, this is totally word f. The first time I noticed this language phenomenon was when I was in college and my roommate was like, hey, can I get some of your uh, Vicks Vapor Rub? <laughs> You mean Vivaporub, idiot. No, that's Vicks Vapor Rub. Vivaporub. Vicks Vapor Rub. Vicks Vapor Rub. Oh my god, that's where it comes from. <laughs> so let's spend a little time talking about English words Spanish just sort of stole and then pretended nothing happened. The proper word for security guard in Spanish is guardia, but I always knew it as watchiman. Watchman. You know, watchman, but with an I, because the only thing we needed to make it more Spanish is another vowel. And adding an extra vowel on an English word happens like a lot. Like a way to say truck in Mexico is troca. That is stereotyping a lot, Joanna. It's fact, dude. No, I think you're being a little ignorant. Now gather around everybody, cause I'm about to teach you a very special trick. If you want to convert an English verb into a Spanish verb, all you have to do is add an ear at the end. E a R. Ear. Forwardiar. Estoquear. Espamear. These are all words for an online predator. But sometimes we don't even add anything. We just say the word with the Spanish accent. Like, when you ask for a ride in Nicaragua, you go, Me das un ride? 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 Ride. It's the word ride. But there are some words that are deep undercover. So deep, it takes some time to realize that it is an English hiding in a Spanish sentence. You mean an English word hiding? No. Take, for example, the word vaguada, okay? Vaguada. Chris, what do you think this is? This is, uh, fat water. Vaguada. Actually, that's not that far. So it's actually bad weather. Just, in my head, I don't know how bad weather evolved into vaguada. The first time I heard vaguada was in Puerto Rico. And what I love about Puerto Rico is that they don't just Spanishize an English word. They full on Puerto Rico it. Because being a US territory gives PR the right to just f English apart. Parking is palking. Vacuum cleaner is vacuum cleanel. Hamburger is hambelgel. Sometimes it isn't even the English word we adopt. It is the brand that makes the thing becomes the name of the thing is the thing. I lost track of the thing. Like conflé, all right? This isn't just corn flakes. This is all cereals. Goma de mascar will never be the word for gum, okay? It will forever be chicle, which comes from chiclet. Jeep may be just a car brand, but in some countries, Jeep is the word for SUV or any other car your grandma can't get into. Frigidaire is another word for fridge. Kleenex is basically the only word for tissues. Why don't we just all start talking like, no, I got some Heinz. On my hands. Must have fallen off with the Oscar Mayer wonder bread. And once in a while, words come from instructions on packaging. And for a second, you were probably like, okay, she's, she's exaggerating. But then you remember that the word for popcorn in Venezuela is cotufas, which comes from the words corn to fry, which is just what the packaging was telling us to do. That's like calling this twist to open, which I will, thank you very much. But tell me, what other undercover words did I miss? English words in Spanish, Spanish words in English. Until next time, I am Joanna and I've said uh, my pizza. Now, was that actual Spanish or are you just- That's for you to find out. <laughs>